Hey guys, today I want to talk about VoIP phones. And I'll talk about a misconception I had when I first started uh, messing with VoIP phones. One of the things I thought was that in order to operate a VoIP phone, you would have to have some sort of server or IPPBX to do so, so that you can make calls between instruments. But that's just not the case. Uh, with the phone that I have here, this grand stream, you can actually dial directly from one to another just by using the IP address. These phones are fairly cheap, and a lot of times you can get them off of eBay for like less than 50 bucks. So um, I'll show you how you can dial just by using the IP address. So the first thing you want to do is go into the menu and scroll down to a menu option called Direct IP Call. You can hit that and then type in the IP address. Uh, now, as you're typing in the IP address, you'll want to use the asterisk for the uh, dot. So the IP address I'm trying to dial is 192.168.0.160. Once you're done, hit OK and it starts to ring. Now just because you might not want to spend money on a hardware phone like this, you can do it on a soft phone as well. Um, I'll jump over to the computer and show you how you can use the Lin phone to do the same thing. So let's give this a try with a soft phone. I've downloaded a soft phone I like called Lin phone. It's just really uh, versatile. Uh, so here we go. Right, so what we're going to do is put the IP address in. So 192.168.1.2 is the IP address I'm calling. And when I hit this, it doesn't work. Because what I have to do is I have to come in front of the IP address and put in SIP uh, colon. What this does is it changes it into a SIP URI or Uniform Resource Identifier. What a SIP URI is is a way that the SIP protocol likes to label telephone instruments. Uh, it comes in different forms than this. This is just kind of the simplest form. But what you'll see is you'll see an IP address or a phone number or some sort of identifier and the prefix will be SIP colon or SIPS colon in the secure version. So once you put SIP colon in there and then the IP address, hit call, and there it goes. Uh, our phone is ringing. One thing to make sure of is if you are using Lin phone uh, in order to dial in and out of your computer, you might have to uh, open up the firewall on the computer if there's a firewall for the operating system. I know I had to with Windows 8, so be sure that you uh, adjust that. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's just a really simple way to uh, implement uh, VoIP in your own home network without having to have an IP server or without having to have some sort of a SIP proxy. One thing to think about with this when you're thinking about a VoIP network is even if the phones are on a network that has a SIP proxy or an IP PBX, uh, some of these phones will still be able to dial any other phone in the network just by having the IP address. Now, there might be some issues with NATing and things like that, but uh, what's, what's interesting about these phones to me is that a lot of times there's far more capability in the phone than people realize. That's just a cool little thing that I like that I ran into uh, a while back. Um, this is all part of also the VoIP Basics course that's coming up. I'm going to keep doing videos like this until the end of March. And at that time, I should have some information for you about the course. If you have any questions about this particular setup, uh, let me know. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.